Hi, everybody, and welcome to the NIT. Brad Nessler alongside Dick Vitale. Thanks for joining us for this first-round matchup between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Number 10 is an unbelievable player who's been given the reins to take his team to victory. This guy can be you in so many ways on offense. He can really stroke the J, and he also moves well without the ball. That makes him an offensive nightmare for a defender. The Demon Deacons will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. And we begin with a tip-off of the first half. The Demon Deacons are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for them? Hey, they've got to do the simple things out there, and they should be okay. Number one, it's up to the point guard to be the leader, to control the entire tempo of the game. Second, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. And lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, he's doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Nice high post screen. He makes a nice shot fake. With a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Fed the low block. The center receives the pass. Dick, not a bad drop, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Pass break possibility coming. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. It's coming inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Number 42 is fired up and ready to go. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Takes it off him. From the top of the key, he gets the bucket to fall. Inside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He rejects it. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. The center receives the ball. Here's a double team. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Double team now, bad angle. He's got an open look for the shot. With a deep shot from outside. Makes the shot. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He wants a three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Inside. Number 42 with the fake. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Or two. Can't get the shot to go. Trying to pack it inside. 
That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, if you have a great post play, you got a chance to really to win. Gave it up. Wide open for the shot. He takes a three. Got it. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Jumped in front to take it away. He'll regroup the offense. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Number 44 handles the pass. Perfectly executed. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. You betcha. We get another look at it in the lane. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He nails the bucket. They work it around the perimeter for the bucket. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Number 11 handles the feed. Looking for a good shot. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. The ball goes out of play. On the outside, he stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Georgia are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. He goes for three. Gets it to fall. It's stolen. He up fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Fakes it. On the dribble, gives it up. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Going to eliminate those turnovers. Got the high pick. Great play to take that to the basket. He strips him clean. Hey, the crowd loved that one, Brad. But did you see the mascot? He's so excited. I think he may pull something up there jumping around like that. He's going to get hurt. Hey, don't hurt yourself, big fella. They need you to cheer. Okay. Try 
Tries for two. Perfectly executed. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Gave it up. Good job defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And that bucket's gonna count plus one. A big time and one, baby. The Demon Deacons are falling apart mentally. Hey, if I was on a team, I would be frustrated as well. The team's performance is nothing to be proud of at this moment. He steps up to the line. It's good. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. There's the pick. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the players and coaches seem really confused around the bench area right now. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. All right, thanks, Aaron. It's that one. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The skip pass is picked off. Working it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They'll bring it up. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. They're working around the arc. Dick a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Defender is resilient, still applying pressure. He looks for three. He drains the shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. From right in the circle, makes it. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. of free ones. He hits the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBA. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. And he scores despite the hack. Number 10 is 
called for the foul. First personal foul. Here's a flash from the high post. The power forward in the... That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. High post flashes for the ball. Up and inside. He tries the three. It's good. It's a fast break possibility. Way out on top, controlling the ball. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? For two, he gets it to fall. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. These fans seem to be thrilled with what's going on right now in front of them. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They work it around the perimeter. There's the fake. He shoots from the top of the circle. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one gone from the hot dog stand and not too long ago. Intercepted. Now they work it around the perimeter. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. <laughs> and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. the perimeter gave it up for the bucket and off the mark they work the perimeter entry pass in the paint puts it up looking for contact Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Goes up for two. Drains the shot. Steals the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. On the outside. They're working around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. Tries for two.
He shoots from outside. He hits the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. There's the pick. There's the roll. There was no doubt about that one. Show me that one again. Staying with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding that basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. Cross court. Up fake. A high screen. He shoots from the top of the key. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Stolen away. Or two. Can't get the shot to drop. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Opportunity for two for one. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Shot clock is dead. And a momentary look from three point land. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys that are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. With the long bomb. Way off target. He gets the rebound. At halftime, the Demon Deacons are down by 12. 
It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitale. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? Watch this absolutely crazy dunk here, Brad. Both teams are going to be looking for more of those little momentum boosters in the second half. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Wake Forest just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of this game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. Wake Forest is the third school in the triangle of North Carolina universities, not to mention the odd man out in most cases. Hey, don't let the people from Winston-Salem hear that. Off the rim and no good. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. That's a 7 nothing run. Steals the ball. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. They're working around the perimeter. Set that screen away. Oh, yes. <laughs> working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. He throws it up from downtown. Way off target. They're working around the arc. Way out on top and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Ten on the shot clock. The ball goes out of bounds. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. The ball goes out of play. You're talking about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Shot clock runs down. It almost certainly did. All you kids out there should pay attention. This is how you deny the ball on defense. Now the high screen. There they come with a double team to stop it. He puts it in with contact and all. Pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he 
throws it right away. Great steal. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Tries for two. You talk about versatility, there aren't many guys that are going to make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch, impossible to block that shot. Almost lost the basketball. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Roll it back, fellas. Trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate it. Gets the rejection with a great block. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Pushing that basketball. On the outside. Tries to get the D to bite. Picks off the lazy pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Up, easy one. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Number 42 makes a grip. He gets the tough layup and a foul to go with it, Dick. Hey, that was awesome, baby, with a capital A. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. He goes to the line for the first time. Got it from the free throw line. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. 
think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. He goes to the line. Routine. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. Let's see the replay. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Takes the pass in the paint. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Picked out of the air. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's a high screen. Controlling the ball. Three. Nice shot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Stolen away, and the ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. High post player flashing. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Pull-up jumper from way out, off the rim and no good. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to... Gets a hand in the way. He anticipated the pass well. Looking for a good shot. Up and inside. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in the game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter. 
Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For two, and in and out. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, and really done a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And a momentary look from three-point land. He makes the block. They're off into transition. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses from way outside. Basket falls despite the contact. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Transition opportunity coming up. High post flashes for the opportunity. Takes it off him. Both teams reluctant to slow things down. This pace is amazing. You've got to be in superb condition to play this tempo, Brad. Here's a double team. Step out on that screener. Jumped in front to take it away. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter for three. He drains it. The Demon Deacons are behind by 27. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The Demon Deacons trail by 29. There's the trap. Strips the ball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Steals a pass. On the outside. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And again, they look to run. Looking for contact. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. This one could be over. It sure is, Brad. They have no chance of getting back into this one. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. And they get the turnover. From left of the circle, tickles a twine.
to start things up again. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the angle. Makes the shot. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. In the paint. They move it into the front court. It's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. We get another look. come with a double team to stop it. He comes away with it. Number two is whistled for the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He fires it up. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Side. He shoots from the top of the circle. He rips it from downtown. Working it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Tries a three, goes. To the circle off the rim and no good and a momentary look from three-point land nice steal there but the offense gets the ball back for two perfectly executed Nick I think there's a mismatch in the post you're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. with a shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. High post screen. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Lays it in. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Way to cover the ball on defense. It causes a five-second infraction. Turnovers, Dick. They just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts.
talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Wake Forest gets blown out. It seems they came in overconfident and ended up paying the price for it. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.